A supersonic wind tunnel is a wind tunnel that produces supersonic speeds 1.2 the Mach number and flow are determined by the nozzle geometry. The Reynolds number is varied by changing the density level pressure in the settling chamber. Therefore, a high pressure ratio is required for a supersonic regime at m equals 4, this ratio is of the order of 10. Apart from that, condensation of moisture or even gas liquefaction can occur if the static temperature becomes cold enough. This means that a supersonic wind tunnel usually needs a drying or a preheating facility. A supersonic wind tunnel has a large power demand, so most are designed for intermittent instead of continuous operation. Topic: <inaudible> Restrictions for supersonic tunnel operation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Minimum required pressure ratio. Optimistic estimate Pressure ratio Display style LEQ The total pressure ratio over normal shock at M in test section P T P A M B P T 1 P T two M one equals M M display style frac P underscore T P underscore A M B L E Q left frac P underscore T underscore one P underscore T underscore two right underscore M underscore one equals M underscore M Examples Topic: Temperature effects, condensation. Temperature in the test section. T. M. T. T. Equals one plus gamma minus one two M. M two minus one display style frac t underscore m t underscore t equals left one plus frac gamma minus one two m underscore m carrot two right carrot minus one with t t display style t underscore t equals 330 K T M display style T underscore M equals 70 K at M M display style M underscore M equals 4 the velocity range is limited by reservoir temperature topic power requirements the power required to run a supersonic wind tunnel is enormous of the order of 50 megawatts per square meter of test section cross sectional area for this reason most wind tunnels operate intermittently using energy stored in high pressure tanks these wind tunnels are also called intermittent supersonic blowdown wind tunnels of which a schematic preview is given below. Another way of achieving the huge power output is with the use of a vacuum storage tank. These tunnels are called indraft supersonic wind tunnels, and are seldom used because they are restricted to low Reynolds numbers. Some large countries have built major supersonic tunnels that run continuously, one is shown in the photo. Other problems operating a supersonic wind tunnel include Starting and unstart of the test section related to maintaining at least a minimum pressure ratio Adequate supply of dry air 
Wall interference effects due to shock wave reflection and sometimes blockage. High quality instruments capable of rapid measurements due to short run times in intermittent tunnels. Tunnels such as a Ludwig tube have short test times, usually less than 1 second, relatively high Reynolds number and low power requirements. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Further reading. Pope A. Gowen K. 1978. High speed wind tunnel testing. Krieger ISBN 0-88275-727-X See also Low speed wind tunnel High speed wind tunnel Hypersonic wind tunnel Ludwig tube Shock tube Topic External Links Supersonic Wind Tunnel Test Demonstration Mac 2. 5 with flat plate and wedge creating an oblique shock video.